Good morning, Mount Calvary kiddos. How are you guys doing today? I hope everybody is having a great, great day. I want to talk to you about something kind of uh, not so great, great this morning. Stuff that scares us. I bet everybody watching this has something that scares them or something that they are afraid of. And I like to think that not too many things really scare me. But one thing that certainly does creep me out is spiders. Maybe you're one of those folks that are really uh, good around spiders. They don't scare you. You think they're cool. Maybe you even have a spider as a pet, which just sounds like an awful, awful idea to me. I can't imagine ever having a spider as a pet. <laughs> but I do not like spiders. And one day, it's about seven or eight years ago, I was sitting in my backyard just enjoying the night when all of a sudden I looked down on my leg and I saw a, a big spider. Now, I'm doing this with my hands. It wasn't like this big. It was probably about this big, but it was bigger than like the regular like house spider you see, enough to like really freak me out. And I like tried to get it off my leg and I shook my leg and I hit it off and, and I, I just like ran inside the house because I just did not want to have to deal with this thing. Well, I can't remember exactly why, but I ended up <clears throat> looking into a mirror. Maybe I was trying to make sure I was still alive. And what I saw when I looked in the mirror was the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. And no, it was not my own face. I suppose that could be kind of scary. But it was what was around my face. Because as I looked in the mirror, I saw the spider. And it did this. It ran up my shoulders, over my head, and down my arm, and into my shirt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I freaked out. <clears throat> I flipped out. I ripped off my shirt. I started stomping it on the ground. <laughs> and, and, and based on what I found inside, I had removed the spider from this earth. And I know some people say like, oh, you, you shouldn't do anything to any of God's creatures. And in most cases, I agree. But I believe spiders were created for us to squish. <clears throat> I just believe so. So that was definitely maybe like the scariest thing that I've ever had happen to me in my life. And I'm wondering what kind of things scare you guys out there. Because, again, all of us are scared of something. <clears throat> Maybe for some of us it's heights. I'm not really a big fan of heights either. Maybe it's the dark. Maybe it's thunderstorms. And the question is, what do we do when we have those things that scare us? Well, hopefully we don't completely freak out like Pastor Jim did. Though I would say in my situation it was a reasonable moment to freak out. <clears throat> but maybe you grab a stuffed animal and squeeze it tight. Maybe you run to your parents and the people you live with and, and just ask them to, to hold you. You tell them that you're scared. Do any of you go to God when you're scared? I don't mean physically go, but try praying to God when you're scared. You see, God is always ready to hear us when we are afraid. And in fact, he encourages us to go to him so we can know that we can always find comfort. In the book of Isaiah, it says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Now, what that means is that no matter what it is that might scare us, God is ready to take care of it. And he may not take care of it in the way that we expect, but God loves us so much that he's always going to take care of the things that make us afraid and help us to have the courage, the hope, and the strength to overcome whatever it may be and to make the right decisions in order to handle what it is that we are afraid of. And so the next time that something scary is going on, Maybe we should try <clears throat> saying a little prayer and just asking God to help us to not be afraid and help us to know that we are safe in his wonderful, loving arms that we may not feel on the outside, but we can feel in our heart. You know, maybe even that day, if I had just looked in the mirror and saw that spider crawling on my head, if I had just said a little prayer, I wouldn't have freaked out so much. Okay, maybe not that time, but you guys are probably stronger than me. All right, guys, let's say our prayer. <clears throat> God, I love you, and I know you love me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. All right, guys, I hope you have an awesome week. Remember, ask your mom and dad for those lollipops. I had funnel cake lollipop today. I, I need to get some new lollipops. I really miss just like grape. But these are good, though. And remember, as my friends Bob and Larry say, God made you special and he loves you very much. Have a great week, kiddos. Bye.